Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to calculate utilization and efficiency given either actual or planned output and design capacity or effective capacity. The questions covered in this video correspond to problems Supplement 7.1, 7.2, 7.3, and 7.5. Let's begin with problem Supplement 7.1. If a plant were designed to produce 7,000 hammers per day but is limited to making 6,000 hammers per day because of the time needed to change equipment between the style of hammers, what's the utilization? The formula for utilization is either actual or planned output divided by the design capacity. And design capacity is a theoretical maximum output of a system in a given period under ideal conditions. So actual output is 6,000 units per day, and the design capacity is 7,000 units per day. Therefore, utilization is 85.7%. Now move on to supplement problem 7.2. For the past month, the plant for which we just calculated the utilization has an effective capacity of 6,500 units, but has only made 4,500 per day because of material delay, employee absences, and other problems. So what's the efficiency? Efficiency is equal to actual output over effective capacity. And effective capacity is the capacity that a firm can expect to achieve given its product mix, methods of scheduling, maintenance, and standards of quality. The effective capacity of a facility is always less than the design capacity. So if the actual output is 4,500 hammers per day and the effective capacity is 6,500, therefore the efficiency is 69.2%. Now for supplement problem 7.3. If the plant has an effective capacity of 6,500 hammers and an efficiency of 88%, what's the actual or planned output? Well, based on the problem we just did, efficiency is equal to actual or planned output divided by the effective capacity. In this case, we know the efficiency and the effective capacity. We need to figure out the planned output. So we're going to use a little bit of algebra here, and we're going to make 88% equal to plant output or X over 6,500. X therefore is equal to 88% times 6,500 units, which is equal to 5,720 units. Now on to supplement problem 7.5. Material delays have routinely limited production of household sinks to 400 units per day. If the plant efficiency is 80%, what's the effective capacity? This is a variation of the previous problem where we know the efficiency, but this time we know the actual output, but not the effective capacity. We're going to use algebra here again. We're going to set 80% efficiency equal to 400 over X, where X is the effective capacity in this case. Doing a bit of cross multiplication, 0.8 X is equal to 400. X is therefore equal to 400 divided by 0.8 or 500 units. 